welcome back to my channel. So a few months ago I met someone at a garage sale. She was selling things and she said she was going to be moving um, this year and she wanted to just kind of, you know, sell things. So she invited me to look at her garage. So I've been twice. This is the second time. So the third time total. And this time I spent $420 on everything, which is kind of high, but I did try to get only the best stuff. But we will see. Um, and I also got a shoe rack. Like a metal shoe rack. Because I bought one from Walmart. But then it's like in a million pieces. And then I'm like oh I see that nice one. It's just all put together. And she offered it to me for 20 I took it because I need a shoe rack. But let's just get into what I got. So the first piece here. This may be good and it may not. I have no idea. So it's red. Valentino. Um, it is a really cute style. It's more of like a winter dress though. Um, it has the see-through kind of mesh at top. And it's kind of like a sweater, thick material. It's kind of ribbed. I don't know. It's in great shape. It's super cute. Um, but I didn't, I didn't look for a size when I got it. And I'm not seeing one unless it's down here. So it's a size small. I don't know. It's super cute and in good shape. So I'm hoping this is decent. Found. Oh, this was a cool find. So she had this prairie underground, and I love finding it. I've only found it once before, honestly, and it sold very fast. But there's what the tags like looks like, and it's really trendy. So it's like a denim top, it has some nude color, and then the back zips up like that. Super cute. Um, I think calls for like 25 on that. I looked that up last night. So not amazing, but it does um, sell pretty fast. Okay, so comps for this brand looked good. So I did get everything from this brand that she had. And it may have been a mistake. Because I don't know how well it sells or anything. But I think it's sold on Revolve. It's um, Susanna Monaco. And this is a cute little one shoulder strap dress. I'm not 100% sure how it goes. Um, I'll figure it out. It's not missing a strap. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But otherwise, it's in good condition, and I hope it sells. I've never sold that brand or found it. Oh, this was just a spiritual gangster tank. They don't really sell that off that much, I guess. But I just wanted it for me. Because, like, in the summer, I like to wear, like, tank and shorts around the house. So that's for me. Okay, next is this Diane von Furstenberg dress, and it's, um, it buttons all the way, it's kind of, it has these details, it's super cute. I normally do really good with Diane von Furstenberg, so I will pick it up if it's a good price. It has, like, eyelet detail at the bottom. It's in great shape, so hopefully that sells quickly. Okay, next, oh, it's a Matilda D Jane dress. I can find how it goes so here's the tag it has like a lining in it it's like a sheer polka dot dress but it has a lining under it so I normally do good with Matilda Jane so I picked that up um I don't know about this brand Rachel so but it's trendy and I think sometimes this brand is sold on a wall but it's a trendy like um short sleeve leopard mini dress so i think it'll sell well i'm hoping it will oh this was super cute so it's a just a j crew dress that's what the tag looks like i don't know how recent it is i'll look in just a second but it's off the shoulder but the print of it is wow i got it it has like two cans is that two cans yeah i think so and like tropical and it's so perfect for summer it's in fabulous shape I really liked it. From summer 2016, so not that recent, but it's just cool and cute for summer, so hopefully it does well. Um, I looked this up. It's Big Gill by Byron Lars. I don't know, but I think there was a comp for around 80 or 100, I don't remember. But it's like a mesh, not really mesh, but you get it like a lace and then a nude, and it just like comes together like a corset all the way down. I don't know, it's super cute. I love the style of it. 
And it's in fabulous shape, so I got that. Oh, next, I was just going to try this out because I don't ever pick up Calvin Klein, but this was new with tags and a size 14. Um, it retailed for $89, which is crazy since it doesn't really hold its value, but it's like a navy, just dress, kind of professional, great for career or for like meeting or something. I don't know. Hopefully it'll do good. Some people have said they their dresses do decent, so we will see. Um, I got this ever new Melbourne new with tags. I don't know what it retailed for. It's the Everly Lace jumpsuit. It has like some lace around, and then it's just this floral kind of jumpsuit. I don't know. This is super cute. It's a size zero. I don't know. It's super cute. I forget what the comps were, but I think it'll do good because it's a jumpsuit. Um, comps were decent on this, so I don't know. I've never found the brand. It's indigenous or something, and it's like a sleeveless kind of just dress. Kind of a sweater dress and wear for the fall. But it's cute. I don't know. This brand looked to be really good. I have no idea the comps on this specific piece. But it's the brand Floor Du My. I'm, I'm not sure. It's a size 2. Um, it's like a velvet trench coat. It does have some wear on it. But the brand looked pretty high end. So I'm going to do more research on that one. Oh, she had a Draper James Autumn, so I wanted to try it out because I've never sold Draper James. It's this cute, like, button-down heart dress with a little belt, so it's not missing the belt, which is great. This is a Diane von Furstenberg size 8 dress. It's kind of a more professional white dress. Has some pockets, and then has a zipper in the back. Hopefully that will do well. Oh, I did find a vintage lily piece. Size 6. And it's this little halter top. So watch, okay? And it has like... I'm going to say horses on it. So yeah, it has horses on it. Which is super cute. I love the color. Perfect for spring. And it has like a wire in it to keep it in shape. Yeah. Hope that does well. Um, I did get this Rebecca Taylor, which can sometimes be a hard sell, but maybe this will do well because we're in the season for it. It's this nude lace just tank top. I don't know if it's silk. Probably not. Oh, it is silk. Cool. I got this dress. I think it's just Bailey 44, which is not that great, but the style of it is what sold me. It has like a cutout in the middle, and then it's just a floral dress, super cute for spring. Oh, I did find a brand new with tags, velvet Eliza J dress, probably more for the spring, but it said it retailed for $112, so it has the Nordstrom tag too just like a long sleeve velvet and then it goes into like this material dress that's very long hopefully that does well oh I just got this because it was giving me Y2K vibes um, it's a Betsy Johnson dress it's silk size 2 and it's just this black polka dot kind of dress totally Y2K so hopefully that does well oh I did for some reason I can't leave behind fence and I wish I could because it doesn't sell very well. But this is a real leather skirt. Yeah, I don't know. It's in great shape, so hopefully it sells. Oh, there were this was great because I think the comps are pretty good on this Brunello Susolini, maybe? Size four. Black pants, just black pants, but they're in fabulous shape. So hopefully they do well. Oh, and then some of these dresses do well, and then some don't do that well. It has been dry clean. 
the brand is Jay Godfrey. It's like a little um, one shoulder gown. So I don't know, it's in great shape. Hopefully that does well. And then I got this Millie dress. So it's zero. It's like strapless and then it's two tones, so like a yellow and a tan color. Fabulous shape, super cute. Moving on to the trash bags of clothing now. Got this Adidas size small dress. I kind of like this for me, so I don't know. Adidas love set kind of um, floral dress. Just nice, super cute, but I may sell it. I need to make my money back here. Oh, another vintage lily piece. I don't know if this one will do that well. Just a little skirt. With some pockets. I did sell a lily. Oh, this was interesting, but I didn't look it up, so it may not be that great. But it's Campana's plus Lacoste. I don't know. It's a white polo. Look at all the alligators. Super cute. In great shape. White polo. Not sure how it'll do. Oh, this is Weekend Max Mara. I love Max Mara. It sells great. Um, super cute eyelet kind of top. Super cute. Like I said already. How many times am I going to say super cute? Oh, this was a skirt um, by the brand Hardtail. I used to sell this pretty well, but I have no idea how it's doing at the moment. But I just got it to try it out. It's a cute gray skirt so we'll see it's like a longer skirt I think this is another yep yeah, Susanna Monaco red off shoulder long sleeve top not sure how that brand will do um, this had some decent comps from the brand Sarah Boo. I think it's a boutique brand. It is brand new with tags. And it's like this red bodycon dress. I mean, it's the season for it, so, you know, maybe I can sell it. I think the comps are 25 or something. Oh, next I found these Ted Baker pants. And a size three. I don't remember what Ted Baker's size chart looks like, but they're just these pink pants that are cuffed at the bottom. I don't know how these will do. Some Ted Baker does good, so we'll see. Oh, I loved this. It's a rails top. There's also never any rails left behind by me. But it's this one's super cute. It's like a denim shirt, and then it's fringe at the bottom so so cute I love that um, this black I don't remember this oh another Susanna Monaco piece I have no idea how this is gonna do but it's like a one shoulder mini dress really cute I might can model the dresses that might help them sell oh I got an equipment I also don't really leave behind equipment equipment cream colored top I'm seeing a stain it's like a yellow stain so I don't know if that'll come out but I'll put it in my palm to soak um oh a Madewell dress maybe older that looks like older but cute tassels and then the bottom looks like that let's see what year it's from summer of 16 so not like terribly old I don't know how this will do it's a American glamour Bagley Mishka top I have no idea I don't really know why I got that but maybe it'll do good um, I got this Diane von Furstenberg really cute I think it's butterfly tank top I don't know it, it sells pretty fast for me so I do pick it up like I said before Oh, this was great. So it's a brand new Lovers and Friends little romper. I think it's the Tommy romper. I was looking it up last night. Some ribbed material, black 
just like tight fitting romper. Comps were like 50, I think, so that one's good. Oh, this is another red Valentino piece, but I need to soak it as well because there's like a little stain there. It's like it has all the details though. I don't know comps on that at all. Mm, what is this? Oh, it's Eileen Fisher dress. It says medium, just a black dress. It's probably organic cotton. Ninety percent organic cotton, ten percent lycra. Lycra. Oh, and this is an aloe yoga top. It's like a scarf top, honestly. Like goes like that, and then the top wraps somehow. I'll have to figure that out. But it's an aloe yoga top. Oh, this was cute, but I didn't look up any comps, so I don't know. It has a ninety-nine dollar Nordstrom tag. It's Rachel parcel never heard of it but this is so cute for spring so it's like a pleated rose floral so girly skirt so I don't know how that'll do but hopefully good um a theory and I think that's the newer theory tag size two kind of just career wear dress in good shape Oh, this is a Sue Wong dress, and I thought it was super pretty. Is Sue, I, I don't remember, is Sue Wong like the good brand that does pretty well? I don't know. This is 100% silk. I just got it because it was so pretty, but it's a beaded black dress, and it, it's kind of asymmetrical. It's kind of hard to show, but it's super cute, and I hope it does well. Um, I did find this St. John tank top and I saw small their tank tops don't always do that well and I see a stain now but so I have to soak it okay and then like I said no fence left behind so I got this fence silk just blouse there's a little keyhole I should probably like maybe mark them down and maybe they'll move I don't know fence just hardly sells for me um Oh, this was a brand new J. Jill Wherever Collection, $99 dress. I think their Wherever Collection does a little better. It's just this black dress. It has like a little bit of detail. And then it goes into the dress. I don't know. I hope it does well. J. Jill is normally like hit or miss. Whether it sells or not. Then I saw some comps for 30 on this, so I decided to try it. It's pink Thomas pink. It may be a men's dress shirt. I don't know. It may be women's size 8. Just a pink dress shirt. I'm not sure. I have to do research on that. A few more things left in this bag. Oh, another theory, and this is definitely the new tag. The other one may not be. Size 4 maroon dress. Has some ruffles at the bottom. Super cute style. Maybe it'll do well. Oh, and then I got this. It's just a boutique brand, but I liked the style of it for spring. Hopefully it does well. It's THML, size medium. Just like a kind of a wrap dress with some tassels. Really hard to show these dresses, but it's super cute. That's everything for that bag. This bag, I got a North Face rain jacket. It's a green color. Oh, next I got this denim and supply Ralph Lauren zip up. I don't know what you would call this style, but I'll figure it out. It has shoulder pads, which I don't like, but maybe somebody will like it. Oh, this is super heavy dress. It's a Parker dress. I don't really do well with Parker. But comps for like something like this was pretty good, so we will see. Just a beaded, just dress. I don't know, it's super heavy though, wow. It's probably like five pounds right there. Um, a Diane Von Furstenberg kind of tweed blazer. I don't know, hopefully that does well. 
double thinking so much horses here. A can can extra small jacket. This I'm pretty sure is a tag from a boutique because it says that the price is 68, so I'm pretty sure it's new. So it's this denim jacket with some distressing. Super cute style, and some people say Can Can does well. It hasn't done that well for me, but I'm trying more of it. Uh oh, this blazer is just Ann Taylor Petite, but it had a $139 tag on it. So that I would try it, because you know, more people work now than a few years ago. Just a blazer. If not, I can try thread up. I don't know how it will do there, but I can try. I did get these Miss Me, so that's 28 boot cut jeans. They're just like a medium wash boot cut. And then the back does have the blingy pockets. These are about $25 still, so I'll pick them up at the wrap price. Oh, I don't know. This was a 12 Petite Brooks Brothers blazer. It's linen, so that's one reason I got it. But some people say Brooks Brothers does pretty well. I'll try it out, but a petite size was probably not the smartest choice. Same here. People say Nick and Zoe does pretty well. This is a petite size, so I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it does well. It's like a speckled blue, just career pant, work pant. Oh, this is kind of, I think it may be a vintage brand. Some comps looked pretty good. I'm hoping for at least 30 on it, but it's a bagatelle. Real leather, black jacket, cute style, and it's leather, so. I looked up this brand, it's Kaylin. Comps were decent, it's like a blazer, I guess. Not sure what the comps were anymore, but we will see. This is a Gypsy 05, which can sometimes be good. I don't know, but I mainly picked it up on style. Didn't look up comps. But it's like an Aztec kind of open cardigan. I think it'll sell in the fall for sure. Oh, these are by Anthropology. I probably shouldn't have gotten these extra small because some Anthropology doesn't do good. But it's like a silky lock pant jogger. I like the style of them, but I don't know if they're that desirable. Oh, this was a brand I never heard of, Louie. It was interesting. There were some pretty decent comps, so for the style I got it. It's like a dress, maybe. It hooks in the front, and then the back has like the zipper going all the way down. So it's super interesting. I'm not sure. We will find out how that does. And then I think this is the last item. I think this is a Revolve brand or an Aritzia brand. I forget. It's L and A. It's a small little hooded sweatshirt with a cutout. Great shape. Super cute. I hope it does well. So that's everything I got. I think I got a lot. I have no idea what my cost of goods is. I'll have to add that up and then I'll just put it on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. Have a Okay, and I thought I would just add on to this video. I did stop at Goodwill one day, so I just thought I would add on and show what I got. Um, I did get this Everlane piece. Probably shouldn't have gotten it. It's a strapped top. Maybe it'll get 25 or 30. But some Everlane pieces aren't doing that well right now. But I got it because I can't leave Everlane when I see it. I don't find it often. Oh, these were a pair of brand new with tags. So that's extra large cat graph pants. $60 price tag, but I'm hoping to get at least, you know, $25, $30 range. Maybe more if they're more desirable, but they're a brand new tennis pant, I guess. I have no idea what I bought, but it says Adidas tennis right there. And then this I got for me. It's a brand new with tags, simply southern top. I paid $5 says Florida and then the back says Florida with like a map it's super cute it's new with tags so I just had to have it oh this is rails like I said no rails left behind 
size small. I think it's a linen, just spun up. I don't know why I can't leave behind some of these brands. It's so annoying. Oh, these look like $50 comps. They're Dansko. I only paid $6.99, which was great. Dansko, little like perforated sneakers. They may be leather. I'm not sure. The bottoms haven't been hurt, and I did do the bend test because I don't know about this style of Dansko, but I know some Danskos can like fall apart, but these are good. And then these I paid $8.99. Nine four and I shouldn't have. They're mules, Sam Edelman, but they're circus by Sam Edelman. I sold these Sam Edelman black loafers for fifty, but these looked like twenty something, so I shouldn't have picked those up. But that's my bad. Oh, and then I found these Peruvian Connection velvet like corduroy pants. I haven't found this brand in so long, so I just snatched them up. Don't know how they'll do, but hopefully pretty good. Oh, these I don't think were that great either. <laughs> Sage Collective pants. I didn't realize that Nordstrom marks these down so low, but maybe I can get 20 out of them. They're perfect shape, but I also got a tank from that brand that was two dollars and thirty nine cents. So not terrible. It may do pretty well. It's a cute style. We will see. And then the last thing that I got was $9.59, but this, I think, used to sell for $60, so hopefully still does. It's a great shape, and it's just the VS Pink, like, um, Sherpa, you know, jumpsuit onesie thing, pajamas. But they're, like, new, so that's why I really wanted them, and hopefully it still gets $60. Thank you for watching.